Brussels says London must backtrack or both sides will go down a much more confrontational path. Brussels warned on Monday that it will proceed to the next stages of a two-fold lawsuit against the UK if this week's high-level talks don't result in solutions to a dispute over border checks in the Irish Sea. The EU has been patient, but the EU's patience is wearing thin, an EU official told reporters ahead of a trip by EU Commission Vice President Maro Sefcovic in London, to London, where he will meet UK Brexit Minister David Frost on Wednesday, so today, for talks uh, in the Partnership Council, which monitors the application of the post-Brexit trade deal, and the Joint Committee, which oversees the implementation of the Brexit withdrawal agreement. The EU and UK are locked in a row over checks for products entering Northern Ireland from Britain after London in March unilaterally postponed the introduction of food safety checks. The EU official said Monday that the British government must take a decision whether to backtrack from its unilateral measures and to implement the agreed deal or whether it wants to continue along the more confrontational path that it has chosen so far and face the consequences. If this continues, we will have to consider all the tools and all the options that are available to us, the official said, adding that this would unfortunately mean going down a much more confrontational path. The official suggested that moving forward with the twin-track legal action, which the EU launched in March over the UK's postponement of checks, was high on the Union's retaliatory agenda. That EU lawsuit is based on an infringement procedure against the UK, which is still in the first phase after both sides exchange letters with their argumentation and an arbitration procedure under the Brexit withdrawal agreement, which has not really started yet as both sides are still undertaking political consultations. Unless there's a change of course by the British government, it seems like those kind of measures are not sufficient and we need to consider further measures, the EU official said, referring to the next steps for both legal procedures. For the infringement procedure, this would mean sending a reasoned opinion to the UK, demanding that it withdraw the unilateral postponement of border checks. If London does not comply within two months, the case would be submitted to the Court of Justice of the EU, which rules on the matter. Still, provided that the court rules in favor of the EU and the UK still refuses to comply with the request, the EU could impose a financial penalty or ultimately even tariffs against UK exports. Under the arbitration procedure, moving to the next stage would mean passing the EU complaint uh, complaint to a dispute settlement panel, which would rule on the matter. If the final settlement is in the EU's favor and the UK still refuses to comply, Brussels could equally impose tariffs. The UK has repeatedly called on the EU to show more flexibility when it comes to the implementation of border checks between Britain and Northern Ireland. Frost argued in an Op.ed published Sunday that Brussels needs a new playbook for dealing with neighbors that involves pragmatic solutions between friends. But he's an idiot. He should read what he signs. The EU official insisted Brussels was willing to be flexible on issues like medicine, tax for livestock, VAT schemes for second-hand cars or steel tariffs, but insisted that the UK must refrain from taking unilateral actions and honor the agreed deals. I'm afraid that very often calls for flexibility simply reflect willingness of the UK not to respect its international obligations. And that's something which, I think understandably, we cannot accept, the EU official said. And boy, is he right. And by the way, tonight I have at 8 p.m. CET my very first live stream on my new German channel, Queer Views. I don't do that regularly there. Because, as I told you, for this channel during the week, it's it's hard to keep something regular. That's why I do the live streams for, for um, my big channel on Sundays. But I have a special tonight, and that's the unboxing of the LEGO Pride set, because we are in the Pride Month, and um, I would love you to join me there. 